All right, so today we're gonna go over a city multi-unit branch box and how to address these with the dip switches and just a couple tips and tricks. Um, let's get into it. So to start it, I wanna show you what this system looks like. Outside, I have a heat pump. We'll just label that as C as compressor. It comes off uh, to a T. It goes to my first branch box. And there's a second branch box where I'm at up here in the attic, okay? On this first branch box, I have three indoor heads on my heat pump system. And on the upstairs one, I also have three indoor heads. Okay, now for the dip switches, you're gonna be looking on these branch boxes specifically for SW12, SW11, and SW1. Now what these stand for, these first two right here, these are to address the actual branch box itself, okay? And we're just gonna start at zero one. SW12 is your 10 digit, so that one would be set to zero. SW11 is your ones digit, so we're gonna set that one to one. And what that's doing is it's telling your outdoor unit that this branch box is now called zero one. Now for SW1, okay, that correlates to the number of indoor heads that you have hooked up to that system. So if we go over here and we look here, there's SW12 and there's SW11. Now, don't mind these, I'm in the attic unit right now, so it's a little different. But SW1, what I have on here are the correlating dip switches uh, that are hooked up uh, to pretty much to each line set. And as you see down here, we have unit A, B, and C hooked up, okay? So I have on here, and it just follows, oops, it follows it right in line. A, B, and C correlates to one, two, and three, okay? This is how the basement one is set up. I'm gonna draw it out for you just to make it crystal clear, okay? So I have on here, this is the basement unit, set to zero, one, and on these dip switches, I have one, two, and three turned on, okay? Now, your second branch box, if you have another one in the system, it's gonna pick up right where we left off, okay? This branch box up here is gonna be labeled zero four, okay? And the meaning behind that is because we have three indoor heads connected, so after three is four, okay? They can't make it any simpler. Um, if you have five heads hooked up, for example, in this first branch box, then your next address for your second branch box will pick up after that, so it'd be a zero six. Okay, so we're gonna label this one zero four, and if you look here, I'm in the attic unit, this one's labeled zero four, okay? And I have three indoor heads also connected up to this one, so they're all turned on. Okay, so that takes care of the second branch box. So this one's up here labeled 04, and it has the dip switch on for one, two, and three, and the same thing down here, one, two, and three. Those are hooked up. Now, there's some rotary dials out on your compressor side, and it doesn't matter uh, how you have these set up, this one is always gonna start at 51, okay? You can have up to 50 indoor units connected that's rather unrealistic, uh, but this one will start at 51, okay? If you have multiple compressors, then it'll be, the next one will be 52 and so on. So it's the same deal. You'll see a tens digit and you'll see a ones digit and you would just simply put those to 51, okay? And then after you kick on your system, what this is doing is it's letting the compressor know that hey, we have a branch box down here with three indoor heads, and we have a branch box up here with three indoor heads. And so they can communicate uh, with each other and everything will go smoothly. All right, and one last thing I wanted to mention too. Um, I've seen a couple people uh, have these hooked up. Uh, this is your communications cable, and then you have your shield hooked up to both ends, and that is wrong. What you should do is have your shield hooked up to either your compressor or your branch box, uh, one or the other, it doesn't matter which, but if you hook them both up, what can happen is you create a ground uh, 
feedback loop and it basically acts like a large radio antenna and can cause some electrical interference. So it doesn't matter which end uh, you want it hooked up to, but your shield should only be hooked up to one side, uh, either the compressor side or the branch box side. And it doesn't matter which uh, for either branch box if you have multiple in the system. I just like having everything hooked up to the compressor.